Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. I got a video earlier today and it was, you know, lighthearted and a little bit of rant. But I cut off right as I got to the point to do this job. I was, you know, getting all the bolts of it and I was working on getting the last of it and just about to take the part off. That was 11.30 this morning. It's 10 minutes to 4 right now. I just got it apart. Now granted, I just said at 11.30, I got all the bolts out of it. Here's what we got. Rear knuckle off a 2015 Ford Explorer. I just now, like I say, got this bearing out. And look at all this corrosion around here. Mm. Yeah, that's stuck now. But because this is steel and this is aluminum, you have two dissimilar metals and corrosion builds up in here. Look at the powder. I... been turning wrenches for 30 years. 30 years. This is only the second time I've ever had to pull the entire knuckle out. And it wasn't because of this that I had to pull that knuckle out. I had other problems with that. But I had to pull that knuckle out with the shaft and the, knuck and the wheel bearing and everything on it. This, it was just the simple fact that you couldn't get to anything. What I was doing <clears throat> when this was installed in the vehicle, I had a four ton port of power on this bolt pressing against the frame to push this out. I had a 10 ton port of power on this bolt pressing against uh, a component to push that one out. And then I was alternating between these two holes, I had bolts in them, and I was alternating between these two holes with an air hammer vibrating on them. Well, then I took a torch and heated up around this. I have never done that on a wheel bearing, but I did it on this one. Heated it all up, hosed it down with uh, various different kinds of penetrating oils. The last one I used was Freeze Off. It's It's got kind of a refrigerant in it to shock it, shrink it down. Nothing. It's like I didn't do anything. Finally, I gave up trying and I took this thing out and we carried it over here. We got it propped up on something. I went to whaling on it with a 10 pound sledge. Of course, I had the bolts still in the wheel bearing and had them backed off to where there was full engagement. The bolt went clear through the threads here. So it was flush right there. And then I put a socket on the bolt and then I whaled on that. And after a few swings, it moved finally moved so another 10 minutes of beating on it alternately from this bolt to that bolt to the other and it finally backed off enough that I could you know take the bolts out well in the center and get it out I had a time limit on this I needed to have it done by four o'clock so that she could drive home In a normal world, that would be just fine because things work normally. This did not work normally. I'm very upset. But at least it's apart now. I'll clean up the center, get all that corrosion out of there. The, the marks from where we were trying to uh, break that thing loose and get it apart, I'll dress them all up, put it all back together. I don't know what we're going to charge them. This job took five times as long to take it apart as it should have to take it apart and put it back together. And you know, we'll see what I do. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. We'll talk to you later.